power of the process. And if you think about this, every result that you want to generate in your life or in your business is preceded by a process. It's causing us to miss out on fulfillment in the present, true joy and enjoying every moment now because we're always in the future. Sometimes we're in the past, but we're more often in the future. And I said, sweetheart, I realized that when I sit here in the backyard, I said, be quiet, just listen and look. I said, what do you see and what do you hear? And she goes, wow, it's amazing how the trees are just so active right now and rustling. There's squirrels running through them. The, the, the wind is blowing. And I said, what did you hear? She goes, I heard the birds chirping and I heard some of the branches rustling. I said, were you stressed about anything? Wow. She goes, no. I said, see, so every stress that we experience is, it's all in our head. Mm. And when you realize that what you really want is just to enjoy life, to enjoy the moment, these two decisions, when you couple it with that objective, which is, you know what, I'm going to maintain unwavering faith that I can achieve, accomplish, do anything that I want, that I can achieve all these goals. I'm going to maintain unwavering faith, but doing it knowing that it doesn't matter if I achieve them. Who cares? Mm. Right? I'm not attached to that outcome. And then you commit, you define what is the process. If you were to achieve those goals, what are the activities that you would have to do every day? The one thing each day that would move you a little bit closer and knowing you might hit the goal, you might not, or it might take an extra six months, whatever. But when you, when you commit to those two decisions and then you ultimately decide, I'm going to live those decisions with no attachment. And my main objective is that I enjoy every moment of my life. Not when I get there, not when I hit that goal, not when I achieve this level of success, but right now when I'm sitting in the backyard, staring at the trees, listening to the birds, or looking at all of us on Zoom, when the Zoom call goes, turns off, here's what I would encourage all of us to do. I'll do it too. You can choose your time frame. I'd suggest 10 minutes, five or 10 minutes. Do nothing. Do nothing. Mm. And if anything, just think, I feel joy. Here's a question, actually. Write this one down, you guys. My coach taught me this, and it's been a game changer. Whenever I'm stressed out, I ask myself this question. What would be here now if there wasn't a problem to solve? Wow. What would be here now if there wasn't a problem to solve? And the answer is usually love or joy mm. or God or perfection. Or just- For presence, just presence. I'm actually present. Yeah. And whatever is there, whatever your answer to that question is, that's life. That's available to you right now in this moment. And I'd encourage you to take the next 10 minutes and just be with that. Shut your phone off, put it on airplane mode, move your to-do list. Ideally, if you can go outside in nature, that's, that's ideal. If you can't, stare at a wall, right? but just be present to the miracle that is life that you're living right now. You've already won. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. There should be a link either above or below, depending on where you're watching this. Please click that link and follow the instructions. And don't forget, like and follow us on all our social media outlets if you've liked what you've seen here. And share this with anybody that you think would find it valuable. Thank you and have a great day.